we're going to see how to use scripts which are basically text files of commands so from the file menu I choose new script and it gives me a blank window this is effectively just a text editor and I'll just resize them so we can see everything so within the script window we can type in commands as normal but notice when I press enter nothing changes in the console because we've not actually run that command yet So I've got three commands here. I can either choose to run the entire script by using the edit menu and then run all. Or I can choose to run a single line or selection. So this one, we'll come back to the script editor. We're going to run it um, line by line. So Windows, that's Control R. As I do Control R on each one, you'll see the um, console show the results of those commands. We can save the script. File save. It gives them a, a file name .r by default. So the extension is .r. I'll just call this one test and then save. So why use a script? Well it gives us a, a list of all the commands that we've done in an easily readable form. And it, it, it can be a little less uh, cluttered, a little less complicated than the history. Also it can be a little easier to work like this, uh, particularly if we're not quite sure um, what we need to do to get the results that we're after. So rather than go to the console directly and try things out, we can create the script, run it line by line. If we have a problem, we can clear the workspace, edit the script, and then just go through line by line again. And it is normally better to go through line by line when you're first um, developing a script because then you immediately see the line that's causing the problems where the first error occurs and that helps with debugging. When we finish with the script we can close the script window it will warn us if there's anything there that's not saved and then carry on working.